Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another playing with makeup video for you guys. You guys seem to love these and I love filming them, so I'm back with another one. As per usual, I have no idea what I want to film, but I do have some new makeup products here, so let's just get playing and see what I come up with. So starting off, I'm going to be taking my Hourglass Mineral Veil. This is a really, really nice primer. You don't need much at all to do your whole face. It just... I feel like it really does prolong the wear of my makeup when I use this primer. It's really, really good. And it also has SPF 15, which is amazing because any SPF is better than no SPF, in my opinion, at least for daytime. And something that I've learned with this primer through using it a good few times is actually to let this primer dry before I apply foundation over the top. So I'm going to go away for one minute and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to be taking my MAC cream color base in the shade Luna on this Real Techniques tapered foundation brush. I'm just going to grab a little bit and I'll apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, just kind of like painting it on. So a foundation that I've owned for ages but I've never really used is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. So I have mine in the shade 140, so I'm going to see how that goes today. I'm just going to take one pump to start off with. Hopefully that's a good color match. We'll see. Okay, guys, let's try that again. So that foundation was absolutely terrible. I took it all off. Like, that was not a fun time at all. Oh, my God. Um, so I have put on my primer again. And I also put on the MAC Cream Color Base in Luna, Luna, Pearl, whatever one I used before I used that again. I'm going to give another foundation a shot. This is the MAC Mineralized Moisture SPF 15 foundation. I'm going to give that a go because I've never used it before. I just pumped out a bit onto the back of my hand. I'm going to use the same oval brush and I'm going to start distributing this onto my face. Anyways, I'm going to take my oval brush now. I'm just going to blend in this foundation. I think this foundation is lighter coverage, so maybe I'll need to go in with another layer. I actually really, really like this foundation with this brush. It's really, really nice. Okay, that foundation is so glowy. I'm not used to that, but we're going to roll with it. I am now going to correct my under eye dark circles using the MAC Pro Concealer Palette. This one is MAC as in M-A-Q, not MAC as in like this MAC. So I'm going to grab this shade here. It's like a salmon tone. I'm going to see how that goes correcting my under eye dark circles. Normally I use a peach tone concealer, so using a salmon concealer is very, very different for me, but we're going to see if it works. Once I gather my opinions on this palette, I might do a review. Would you guys like to see that? Because this palette was like really, really expensive. But I feel like you could do a lot with this little cube. Not really cube, like little rectangle of product. So now I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. I'm just going to take a pump of that. Do you guys ever start talking to like a person that you really, really like? And then, like, randomly, out of nowhere, they'll just start acting all weird and stuff. And it's like, what on earth happened to you? Like, what happened to the, like, the person that I met and was, like, super amazing? And then you go crazy. Seriously. <laughs> that recently happened to me. And it's like, what happened to you? Like, uh, whatever. I'm really, really liking the Salmon Tone Concealer with the Pro Longwear over the top. It's really, really nice. But I feel like I need a different brush. So I just applied my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre onto my eyelids. Wasn't really much to see. I'm just applying a skin tone color to my eyelids. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more Pro Longwear, just a tiny little bit, and just kind of apply another layer underneath my eyes, just because I feel like it hasn't really corrected my dark circles as much as what I'm used to. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. So yeah, recently I've been in such a filming rut. Like, I just, I haven't been in the mood to film, like, I've just literally been like, on the weekends, because I work full time, on the weekends I would literally just binge watch TV shows, like I wouldn't even go out into the world, like nothing at all. And I don't know what was up with me, like it was like for a good few weeks as well, like ever since I've started my YouTube channel, like I would at least dedicate one full day a week to filming and editing videos, and for the last few weeks I haven't been doing that, and I have no idea what was wrong with me at all, like just... I wasn't feeling very happy and I was actually feeling quite sad to be honest like I felt so lonely like so ridiculously lonely have you guys ever felt like that like you've just felt like like you know that you have friends like I've got my best friend friend she's absolutely amazing I couldn't ask for a better best friend but like you just felt like lonely I don't know is that just me I have no idea 
But if you feel like that, you're not alone because I feel like that too. And if you ever feel like that, feel free to add me on Facebook like, and just send me a chat. Like, I would be more than happy to talk to you, seriously. I'm just gonna go with my, with my Ilamasca Precision Brow Gel in the shade Strike. This is really, really good. Let's move up. And my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush. But yeah, like recently I've just been feeling so ridiculously lonely and I have no idea why. Like, if I don't talk for a minute. A product that I never thought that I'd love underneath my eyes is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. This took me by surprise, most definitely. Like, I was not expecting to like this at all. But I've been using this to set my under eyes recently. I really, really enjoy it. I do pack it on, like, a lot, um, just so it can bake. I don't really do it for baking. I do it more to catch fallout, um, so then I can just dust it away. I completely forgot to cream contour, which is what I wanted to do today, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Stick. This is my favorite way to cream contour. It's so easy and so foolproof. It's just, like, literally a stick. I don't like using the middle because I feel like it melts away my product. But I just literally draw a few stripes. That's also a good thing about a stick, is like you can literally line it up with your jawline and just draw across. So good. Now please excuse this brush, it is dirty, but this one is a fake Real Techniques bold metal brush that I bought off eBay. Um, I bought a set of seven for like 15 bucks, and seriously it was the best money spent ever. Um, I love this brush so much. What I do is I don't buff in the product, I tap the product, and then because, I don't know, like this Maybelline Fit Me Stick is so amazing because it's so blendable. It's probably not good as a foundation, at least for what I like, but basically I just continue to tap it and tap it out, and the tapping blends it in amazingly so you don't randomly get like contour down here. I'm going to do a light dusting of powder. I'm going to be using the Models Prefer Mineral Power Soft Touch in the shade Soft Focus. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just this color. I'm going to grab a giant Real Techniques or the fake Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to apply that to kind of the higher points of my face, like forehead and stuff. I feel like this is a better finishing powder, similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, than if it was to just be used as a, like a setting powder. But I'm going to use it as a setting powder today because I have no idea where my normal pressed powder has gone. So we're just going to make with what we got. <laughs> okay, so for eyes today, we're going to kick it back old school. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Unfortunately, you can't buy this palette anymore, but you can definitely find similar colors in other palettes, I can assure you. But anyway, I want to start off by taking, because I think I want to do like a super, super bronzy look. I'm not really too sure. But I want to start off by taking this shade here. It's just kind of like a warm toned brown. I've been in such like a makeup block recently, I have no idea what's wrong with me. But anyway, I'm going to take this shade up here. It's kind of like a warmer tone, like it's kind of just a darker version of this shade to be honest. So I'm just going to take a little bit of it, tapping up any excess and then applying that kind of to the outer corner and also throughout the socket. Which is just a light yellow shade, I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Lower lashes. I'm going to take a little bit of the second shade that I used, tapping off the excess and applying that underneath my eye. Now I'm going to take a darker shade. I want to take this brown here and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner. Now I'm just going to take this brown here. You could have used the other brown that I used on the lower lashes, but whatever. I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner and kind of work that through to maybe halfway through my crease. What I'm going to do is, because my camera battery light is now flashing, is I'm going to go off camera and apply my mascara and my fake eyelashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I, I just, I can't get over how much of a difference fake eyelashes make to a look. Like, I feel like I completely, like, I feel like I've done so much more to my eyes than what I did. I don't know. I really like it. I'm now going to go in with my Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade Golden Light. I'm so pissed off. My packaging for this broke. Like, cool, I'm just going to spend $70 on a bronzer and for the packaging to break on me. Like, look. Ready? Like, it doesn't close anymore. Like, it's like a clam now. Great. 
but it's still an amazing bronzer and it's what is on the inside that counts I guess I don't feel like contouring my face so I might just bronze and then highlight and then put on a lipstick and then call it a day I think I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Park Avenue Princess by T um, I was gonna say Too Faced no by Tarte on my NARS Eater brush I'm just gonna blend that into the hollows of my cheekbones as well Probably was not the best shade for that, but whatever, we're just going to roll with it. Now I'm going to apply one of my favourite highlighters of life. It's the Balm Mary Luminizer. I don't know why I ever stopped using this highlighter. It is so bomb. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Boom! Like, can you see that glow? If you don't want it to be as intense, then just use a less um, dense brush, but I love this brush from Sigma. It's the Tapered Highlighter Brush, the F35. It is so amazing. I'm just going to apply a little bit to the, well, to my nose. Lip products. I've got two from Dried Cosmetics, and I don't know which one I want to use. Um, these are their new Hydromat liquid lipstick kind of things. I've never used them before, so this is going to be totally new first impressions. I've got Sher and Ice Mocha. I have a few other shades as well that I bought, but I wanted to use one of these two. I don't really know which one. I might use Ice Mocha because it looks gorgeous. So it's got a nice doe foot applicator. Oh wow, that's really brown. I was not expecting it to be that brown. Oh well. It's funny how a lip colour can like totally transform how a look looks. Like I was expecting to put like a nude on and then it'll be like super super like a bronzy goddessy and now I feel like a little bit 90s grunge. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I really like the colour, but I don't feel like it was the look that I was going for, so I might take it off and put on Sher lipstick instead. Let's see. Yeah, I might give it a go. Let's put on Sher. Okay, I really, really like how that looks now after I've blotted it away, so I don't want to put on Sher anymore. I'm really, really happy with how this look looks. I'm sorry that I didn't ramble or didn't really talk all that much about the video. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this is the finished look. I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. Definitely not... Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the look and what you would you like. Blah, 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 blah. What am I trying to say? Um, definitely comment down below what you'd like to see from me next. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.